Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros, and today we bring you an $800 full gaming setup. And it's all featured around this beautiful $450 PC that we built on the channel recently. If you have not seen this video, hit the eye in the top right corner, check that video out. But uh, we realized we've been kind of slacking in the setup department, so we're gonna be bringing you some more gaming setups around PCs built here on the channel, and you can always buy them by using the links down below. But before we dive into this setup, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by AliExpress and their upcoming summer sale. We love shopping on AliExpress for the latest in tech and you can save up to 70% off during this summer sale. We also have a couple products here to showcase, one being a Fifine USB condenser microphone with tap to mute functionality, an included stand, pop filter, comes in black, white, or pink, and of course that beautiful RGB. Oh, and I'm actually using it to record this voiceover right now. It's an absolutely great budget microphone. We also have the Red Dragon. Dragon Fizz K617 RGB 61 key keyboard that comes with smooth red switches, ideal for gaming, RGB, and the ability to hot swap those switches to customize the keyboard to your liking. It also comes in a wide range of colors, but we got the pink one here to match this beautiful microphone. You can learn more about the AliExpress summer sale and the products that we featured today by checking the link in the description down below. And special thanks again to AliExpress for sponsoring today's video. And in case you guys are new to our full setups, basically we do a full gaming setup we include a keyboard we include a mouse mat we include the actual mouse we include headset and monitor and the actual gaming pc which is pretty much always a previous video so make sure you check that out but yeah this one's 800 bucks now that does not include the desk or chair because in our opinions you can use kitchen table chairs you can use your kitchen table you can really use anything i mean if you're destined to game and you really want a game you will make anything work and if you are looking for a desk we did do a video on some budget amazon desks as well so you can check out that video i'll probably forget to put it in the eye top right corner but i'm gonna say it's there and you can let me know down below if I <laughs> forgot. But yeah, let's just not waste any more time. Go over this PC for those who have not seen this video, just a brief rundown of the specs, and then talk about what makes it a full complete setup, all the other cool stuff. So this computer right here, guys, was really a, in our opinion, banger deal. Um, so this thing is actually an i3-10100F, which is a four core, eight thread, one of the best quad cores on the market right now, and it's around $80 or less, so it's a pretty insane deal. We have XPG RAM, it's 16 gigs, and it is 3200 megahertz, so dual channel, pretty much exactly what you need. Of course, this is all inside of a very nice B460M, just something pretty basic to get us by. And then we have a PNY GTX 970 4 gig, technically three and a half gig, but it's a really good card. I mean, it's, it's really slept on nowadays because you can get this card for around hundred bucks. And guess what? It performs like a 1660 slash 1650 super. And you're looking at 160 to $200 for one of those right now. So yeah, we really do recommend this card at the moment. We also have a BP 510. Technically they actually sent us like a 750 accidentally, but you know, we're not going to count that because that's a lot more expensive and you don't need it. And we also have an ADA to 5 12 gig NVMe SSD, just once again, super basic. Those are like 40 bucks and that's just super cheap. And then we actually gave the Allied Gaming case a try. They're actually a pre-book company, but they sell just their case on Amazon and we're pretty happy with it. It actually turned out pretty nice. Uh, good looking case, good looking build. Yeah, super great price. Now Matt is going to go over the peripherals that make up the other basically half of the cost. First up with the monitor, we have this beautiful LG Ultra Gear monitor. It is a 24 inch 1080p 144 Hertz display. And the best part is I picked it up for $153. High refresh rate monitor are coming down in price a lot and this is a really high quality unit i mean it's very well built lg name brand um and yeah it has that high refresh rate that everyone's looking for and that 970 and i3 combo can push high refresh rate frame rates in your favorite esports titles which will show you when we get into the benchmarks and if you upgrade the P uh, pc in the future with even better hardware then you'll fully be able to take advantage of that in higher end games but yeah at 150 bucks there's it's really a no-brainer to go with a high refresh rate display now for the keyboard we have a familiar face here this is the punks and TH61, 60% keyboard, nice and compact, red switches, I mean, it sounds really nice. And it has that RGB. We love 60% keyboards for gaming because it's a very small footprint. And you know what? It doesn't cost much more than like a normal standard keyboard. And it just, yeah, it looks nice on a desk really. Um, and it's a very nice keyboard, very nice brand. It's been in our roundups before and we highly recommend it. And it comes in a bunch of different switches if you don't like red switches. Now for the mouse, this is the HK Gaming Mira S Ultra Lightweight. So yeah, this mouse comes in a couple different colors. I really like this color scheme. It has like the, the spotted colors on black with the light blue and the light blue cord. Now, the only thing I don't like is the DPI profile. Well, when you change it, it changes the color of the wheel. I would like it if it just stayed like this, but the sensitivity is like insane. So in theory, you could go into Windows and program it as you wish, but I'm just gonna leave it like that for the sake of this video. And then this is just a basic extended mouse mat. I'm not super happy with this because the Amazon listing did show it being very dark black and it would have looked a lot better with this setup. It kind of showed up gray, so your mileage may vary, but you can get pretty much any extended mouse mat you want on Amazon for like 20 or 25 bucks. 
specs. And the last thing that we got right here was the Arctis 3 from Steel Series. This is a very comfortable headset. I mean, look at this thing. These are really comfy ear cups and a really nice headband also. And it's all black. It's gonna match the setup pretty nicely. And we've used the Arctis Series numerous times in our setup videos, and we have not been disappointed with the sound quality and comfort. And it's pretty affordable around like 40 or 50 bucks. So yeah, I think for an $800 full setup, we have a lot of cool stuff here. Let's just game on it and see exactly how well it works together. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Apex Legends, and we're at a mixture of medium high settings, full FOV 1080p, and this thing's running pretty smooth. Now, obviously, like Matt was saying, we're not gonna hit our 144 because, you know, we're going for higher settings. We wanna have a really good quality looking game. And honestly, I don't think I need 144 to win this. Boom, boom, is how, does, how did that miss? Embarrassing. Boom, wow, so we don't need it. We don't need higher fresh rate, it's just easy. No scope only. Oh. <laughs> wow. My teammate got me. All right, let's just let's just take this home. Just take this home. I feel bad Country for bullying this person. Secret. I would be shook, yeah. They oh, like just murked us. I'd be pretty shook. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> oh. Dude, oh, I'm gonna oh, are they gonna do it to you? Oh no. Yay! Oh. Wow, that was that was interesting Apex Legends gameplay right there. But it runs good. That's, it does that's what, I mean, good. all you guys are here for is FPS, not the gameplay, yeah, right? Yeah, who cares about that? You just want to see some wow. FPS numbers. Let's go on to the next game. We are now in a good old Fortnite, mm -hmm. and uh, this is definitely a game that performed pretty well when we benchmarked it before, and um, yeah, we'll see what the performance ends up being once we land. Yeah, this is a game that's going to be great for that high refresh rate monitor. It's going to be nice and smooth and allow you to get all the kills you want in build Fortnite or no build Fortnite. I think I'm in build Fortnite, so yeah, we're going to run with that, and uh, yeah, looking pretty Pretty nice so far. 50 cal, brother. Oh my. He, he had just, a shotgun. You have a 50 like cal, lagged. he had a shotgun. Take two, we're going to Tilted Towers. This could end exactly the same way that last one just did, but you know what? We're gonna give it a shot anyways. And uh, I gotta give you all some better audio anyways. I realize I had my headphones on the entire time. So I apologize for that. You probably didn't hear much Fortnite gameplay, but we're gonna go ahead and land in Tilted. But yeah, obviously with this PC and the 970 and that i3, you're gonna have no problems with Valorant, Fortnite. You'll see Valorant later, obviously, um, and all those esports games. and. Uh, some higher in game 60 FPS, lower settings will be good, but the beauty of the system is it's very upgradable. You can go probably all the way up to like an RX 6600 or 6600 XT with that 10100, or you can upgrade the i3 to an i5 or an i7 on 10th gen. They're very affordable right now. So the sky's the limit with this thing. You can easily turn it from a $450 system to like a $1,000, $1,200 system, no problems. We back in Fortnite, we're about to get down. Where'd that guy just go? Hey, Thermal Dragon, you're done for. I do like this LG monitor though. It's very, very crisp, very snappy. I overall like how responsive it is. Having a good high refresh rate monitor, you know, can't really complain too much. Where'd everyone go? This is Tilted Towers, supposed to be gamers. Oh no, I just got shot. Oh, there you go. You saw the Fortnite gameplay. I asked for somebody and they found me and they shot me. So it is what it is. But uh, yeah, Fortnite runs great. Let's move on to another game. All right, guys, the next game we're gonna be testing is GTA 5. And we're at the very be beginning of the game running on pretty much normal high settings. And uh, obviously GTA 5 is a pretty easy game to run, but a lot of you have requested playing this game and getting well over 100 FPS. Uh, here in a sec, we're gonna be going outside into an area which be a little bit more demanding. And uh, we'll see what the FPS number are but yeah I mean GTA 5 runs like a dream a little bit of stutters here and there I'm noticing but if you lock in the frame rate a little bit so it doesn't like exceed like a crazy amount then you'll probably get even better performance pew 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 oh I just died in a prologue I'm gonna try messing with some of the settings here I'm gonna try to lock v-sync to see if that helps with some of the stutter that we're noticing so yeah we're gonna run a lock 60 here just to try and eliminate some of the random stutter that's happening um, but obviously you can change the max frame rate if you want to in like some uh, configs to, to lock it to, let's say 144 or something for this high refresh rate monitor. But it is GTA. I mean, do you really need more than 60 FPS in GTA? Let's be honest here. They're dying to get in. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> head on collision, buddy. He shouldn't be here. He's at a wrong place in the wrong time. Oh no. The, oh, the, did I go the wrong way? But yeah, there's GTA. I've been playing for about five minutes there and I haven't even get through the prologue, the intro, but you at least got some gameplay there to show that it does perform well. Let's we'll see if Jackson gets some kills on Valorante. All right, gentlemen, ladies, and in between, we are now <laughs> playing Warzone. So we're at a uh, our 144 hertz screen. We're pretty much like Thanks low, low, low settings, quality. Yeah. 
you know, pretty much low settings because I mean, this is a this is the AAA title. Like, whenever someone says, "Hey, PC, I want a gaming PC," and they say, "I want to play Warzone," I'm like, "Oh, okay. Well, let's not give you something like this." But hey, honestly, it works, and that's what the exciting part is. So we're gonna show you just how good it works by landing. Let's go. Here we go, Pete. Pete. I'm no, I'm not doing this. I have PTSD. Oh, they did it! Hide! Shut the door! Oh, I got close. Stupid door. That's what Warzone professionals go. do. <laughs> that's how you play Warzone. Why he kept running past me, I don't know, but dude, that scared the crap out of me. I hate not knowing where he's at. So we're gonna push him. Push or be pushed! <laughs> push or be pushed! Shot. Oh, armor broken. Oh, he's he's a baby. Yep. We get, we, we, get we some nades. Ah! Oh, I'm gonna reload! No! Oh, he... yeah, Why is it what? always this it's gun? It's like heavy machine guns. I'm gonna fake him out. Okay. Uh, okay. Nice try. Nice try. That's Warzone. It's technically playable. Not an amazing experience, but you at least get close to 60 FPS. And this system is great for upgrades in the future. And overall, this setup is pretty awesome. Let's just wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this wonderful setup, and it was definitely really good. In all honesty, if someone just put this in front of me, I was at a convention or something, I would really think the setup was worth more than $1,000 at this point, just because it played every game we threw at it really well. Even Warzone was a really good experience, and that is one of the highest end AAA titles that most people are playing these days. If you want to pick up any of the parts from today's video, links in the description down below will be affiliate links and will help us out. Once again, we did make a video on just this PC, so if you want to learn more about that, definitely check out the eye in the top right corner. But uh, yeah, let us know down below what setup you want to see next do you want to go cheaper do you want to go more expensive let us know so as always we hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did check out our other two youtube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros and do not forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye so this full setup right here will probably be for sale at pcbros.tech and at the least i know that computer will be for sale and you can get all that stuff with a discount code toastybros2 on checkout in store or online to save two percent on your next purchase buy gaming pc buy gaming laptop buy whatever from us pcbros.tech see you guys later goodbye peace out